Matthew, welcome. Thank you for joining me again. Always a privilege to have you. Thank you for having me. Good morning from where you are watching. Good afternoon whenever you're watching and good evening whenever you're watching. Exactly. Thank you. Now let's go, let's dive in straight to the matter. And we're talking about Victor Osimen. Uh Victor Osimen is a very critical, important player for Napoli Football Club. And um, while we're doing this is to talk about his importance to the team and what his absence in the game against AC Milan did. And of course, his absence in tonight's game, what impact it would have on the outcome of the game from a Napoli perspective. First and foremost, the first game that was played between AC Milan and, and, and Napoli was like a precursor to the Champions League game coming up tonight. Victor Osimhen didn't play, and Napoli were whitewashed. Four goals to nothing. And the big question or the topic after the game was that they lost because Victor did not play. I want, to, I want you to tell me what you think. How important is Victor Osimhen to this team, Napoli? Uh, you know, Victor Osimhen, um, there's two, two Napoli as of today. Victor Osime with Napoli and Victor Osime without Napoli presently, as of today, yes. is yes. uh, two different teams. And then right. I must say, Victor Osime with uh, Napoli is uh, is already, let me just say, it's like handicap. You know, wow. Victor Osime present, is present on the field, is like one goal. Wow. And then without Victor Osime, it's like you are losing 60% of your game. And I'll tell you for Victor Sime is like the end point of Napoli's attacking team. Wow. You know, wow. So Victor is point. the end point of everything they do, basically. Yes. It just they call it uh, um, um Le Fase Terminante in Italy. That's Could, the, you, say, the could you say that again? Could you say that again? Le, Le Fase Terminante. Fase That's Terminante. It. Terminal phase, right? Or, or the, the, the end point. Of, Yes, the end point of just as if you know when you when you you're running hundred meter, you know yes. they always give you uh, they always give you a word at the end of the game. You know yes. they don't give a word in the in the beginning or in, yes. in the start. But I will tell you, Osime Osime in Napoli is like sixty percent of the end of their game because wow. football is a game of situation. Victor Sime itself is present. Is like you don't, you know, when you are sure of somebody, like when I, I said when I said handicap, you know, handicap is just as if you are living with, already with one goal. So and this brings about the confidence on every game. If you watch one game against Juventus, you understand better. Whatever ball they are having, when they are in difficulty, they always play the ball to the front. Yeah. So, and when you have somebody that once we're talking about in banker in Italian, that's when you have somebody that, okay, you are going to the bank, your money is saved in the bank. So, Osime in, in Napoli, just as if when I keep my money in a safety bank, definitely yes. I'm having my dividend. Yes. So, Vito is the, is the save, the Napoli save, the save, yes. the save, the <laughs> treasure. Yes. Like a treasure. So, so, whenever you give the ball forward, you know that the ball has something tangible. To them, that was That's why true. it's a first place situation. You know, that is the game itself. Yeah. So presently, presently, the Osime present in Napoli is like sixty percent. Why I said sixty percent because it's the terminal of the end of their all the situation they are playing. So and luckily, whatever is like a, they call it Remida. Now it's yeah. like a king. Whatever he touches becomes gold. Hmm. Of course, the numbers don't lie. Victor has about 24 goals this season already in the league. That is a confirmation, you know, to what you just said. Now, going forward, they were beaten by AC Milan. You just said Victor is 60% of Napoli Football Club and the phase terminal, the end phase of everything they do. He didn't play against AC Milan. They beat them 4-0. Now, the argument that came up after that game was that they lost because Victor did not play. Do you agree with this? But before that, let me just quickly, you know, reel out these statistics before you answer the question. Every game they played without Victor, they won. The two games they lost this season, they played with Victor. That was Inter and Lazio. 
And the first game they have lost without Victor is this game against AC Milan. So if you look at the stats, it, it supports the argument that they lost, they didn't, they lost not because Victor didn't play. They lost because they were not good. What do you think? You know the game better than me. You know better than a lot of us. That's why I come to you all the time. Tell us. <laughs> that is that was why I said, you know, football is a game of situation. Napoli, Napoli in the league, they've won already. Yes, of course. True. So they have nothing. It's not a do or die affair for Napoli. But it, it, it wasn't a do or die for, for Milan as well. But it was important for them. Yes, for pride. And ahead of these two games coming up. Yes. For self-confidence. For self-confidence. But the difference here is we are talking about champions of champions. Yeah, That's true. the champions. So true. the situation presently today is different from what happened the other time. Yeah. So, and I will say this for free. Automatically, Napoli and Milan, as of today, Napoli is better than Milan. Of course. Of course. But today, in terms of situation gain, in terms okay, of... Okay, now let me... Let me interrupt you. Let me interrupt you. Better than Milan when Osimen plays. Because that's better. Actually your point. <laughs> better. But we, we can't take it away from them because the 40% is giving yes. them the dividend today. Of course, I agree. So, and, and I will say this they are playing in a better football in all Europe. Of course, Napoli, I agree with you. There's no doubt about so, that. If we're talking about Champions League, and we're talking about that now. This is, I think, this is the place that you say do or die. Or you go yes. home with nothing, or you go with everything. Correct. All or nothing. <laughs> and okay, football is a monopoly game. Definitely. I, I want you to, I want you to lose. Okay. So basically, when you say football is a game of chance, what you're saying is HC Milan took their chance against Napoli on that night, which 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 maybe dispels the statistic that okay they, they won because i mean they won when victor didn't play and they lost when he played but the ac milan's game is different right that's true that's correct okay now the bad news still is that victor will not play tonight 60 percent is gone right <laughs> yeah yeah, I will say 60%. I still remain with the 60% because it's the hand of all the face that work it. But yeah. today is a different game because Milan itself knows that this is a tournament. This is actually much more important for Milan than the one they won by four goes to nothing. Right? Yes, because not, but today is different. The, today is a different ball game. Today is in, no, we're talking about tournament, we're not talking about the league anymore. Anyway, so it's true. Three, three point doesn't count anymore. Now every yes. ghost. Every yes. situation counts and every yes. action is very important. Yes, true. So, so, so even Milan itself will not come out because they are caution of what will happen behind them. Yeah, but what will happen behind them would have been they would have been more cautious if there was a Victor Simon behind them. You know what That's that guy true. does to open That's true. now That's there's true. no Victor Simon, which takes a critical element out of Napoli's game, right? That's now, true. I'm That's putting true. you on the spot. Where does this leave Napoli tonight without Victor Osime? Where does he leave Napoli? <laughs> That's, <don't> it. <laughs> That's a good oh, question. Precarious, precarious place, so to say. Oh. That's a good question. But what I'm seeing today, I see today's match like a draw. A draw? Wow, that would be fantastic for Napoli because Victor will be back for the second leg in Naples. No, I see this. I see this a draw. Why I'm saying this, I see this a draw. But, but I'm afraid there's no draw in the game. But what I'm looking at is very, very important. And uh, I'm sorry that I don't. I still don't believe that Osime will not play. <laughs> yes, it's unbelievable, right? But that's the truth. The Napoli president has tweeted that Victor has been ruled out of the game, and that has sent shivers down the spine of Napoli supporters all over the world, myself inclusive. And that is not a good news. Now, you said something that I like. You said that it's going to be a draw. And that would be a fantastic result for Napoli. Now, I'm putting you on the spot again. If you were Luciano Spalletti right now, how would you set up your team? You know, because if you get a draw, that would be an amazing result to take back home. Would you go out and play for a draw? Because your talisman, Victor, 
your phase terminale is missing. So it will be intelligent to set up your team to get a decent result to go back to Napoli and kill the game with Victor. What do you think? How would you set up if you were Luciano Spalletti? No, luckily, luckily I'm not Luciano Spalletti. <laughs> I put what, practically speaking now. <laughs> I, will, I will say what I think, what I feel. I'm sure uh, Spalletti has alternative. And um, I strongly believe I will play in a, in a way that I will play like a counter-attack. Okay. With people like Diego Simeone and the likes. Yes, and then um, luckily he has um, other options which are not Napoli, uh, not Osimhen. But of course, the they play differently. They play differently, and they do yes. good to be to be fair on them. Depends on who they are playing with games and the situation they have to. Yeah. true. No, we're talking about Champions League. We are not talking yes. about the league. Yes, we are not talking about Lecce or Torino. <laughs> we are talking about AC Milan, Giants uh, of Europe, so, not just Giants of Italy. You know, and uh, and uh, luckily today, the, the the Milan we are we are talking about the kind of players they are having. They don't have the Champions League experience. You know, that anyway, that's true. That's true. And uh, Inter Milan to um, Napoli too, they don't have that experience no, as well. No, no, so, not much. So we are talking of a different game in a different situation in a different field. So two inexperienced teams in the Champions League, but one with a history that is big. So maybe that will rub off on their players. Because when they that, think about the history of AC Milan, it boosts their remember, confidence. Then I remember who I remember, um, great Mourinho. He said, heritage. Yes, football heritage. I like that. <laughs> he said, heritage. Because we're living on the, the leverage that uh, Milan already he has this Champions League history. But we are talking of the present. The present today says that Napoli is a better side. Of course, I agree. But Napoli is a better side with Osimen. I am worried because what I saw in the first game. No, it's was... a different game. No, it's a different game. I, okay, I, want... I hope so. I hope so. I, I hope they can bring their big game. game to the table without Osimen. I hope. No, they, they, they have their head game already. Number one, um, Luciano Spalletti is, is, a, is an experienced coach. And then... Um, and um, he has more experience than uh, purely. Yes, I agree. I agree. Yeah. I completely agree with that. In fact, that's a fact. <laughs> and um, and um, and to say the fact here, and uh, he's doing better in uh, in the league than uh, than um, purely. Thank you, Martin. Arrivederci. Arrivederci. Yes. Grazie mille. Ciao. Yeah, bye. <laughs>